Hello everyone, this is Crystal, and it's just me today. Um, Justin is currently at home with our dad, and you might have noticed that we uploaded count them one, two, three videos today, um, or at least within the last few hours. Um, the reason being that we had a family emergency happen this past weekend. Um, our father ended up in the hospital. He is on the mend and he was released, uh, let's see, yesterday. Yesterday was Wednesday. Um, September 28th, I think. Let me double check. Yes, today is the 29th. Um, so he was released yesterday, the 28th, and he is on the mend. Hopefully he will be back to his old self. Um, by the weekend, which should be tomorrow, Saturday or Sunday. Um, anyways, it's a long story and I don't want to go get into it. As you can see, I'm still recovering from uh, staying with him in the hospital overnight. Um, just a little bit sleep deprived, but other than that, everyone is doing fine. So thank you so much for your thoughts. Um, or if you were wondering why we didn't upload this week at all until today where I've been spamming your inboxes, your subscription boxes, um, that would be why. Anyways, to get to the point, we are playing Turbo Pug DX. Um, it just came out on Steam and if you have been with us for a while, you know that we played the original Turbo Pug, which was a lot of fun and this one has... Um, has some more, I guess, depth to it. I have only, if you see the high score, I only played it once and not really played it. I was just like making sure that my recording was working. So hopefully it, it is. It looks like it is. So anyways, uh, let's get into it. It's just a very simple game. The pug is still super cute, um, but it looks like they are making it ooh, more of a platformer. Ah, no! Okay, so, um, if you haven't noticed, as soon as you run into an object, you do die. So, which is very sad, and it looks like the space bar is a little bit, um, lagged. Maybe, or maybe it's just me. Ah, I really wanted to get that box. What was in the box? Oh! <laughs> I jumped right into that. Okay, anyways. Um, apparently there's a whole bunch of different skins, and uh, while I was watching the trailer, it seemed like there was a create your own skin option, so I'm not really, oops, <laughs> I'm not really for sure what that's about. Um, but yeah, ooh, dangerous. <sighs> okay, if you can tell, Justin was a lot better at this game than I was. Ooh, a multiplier. Ooh, that would be nice. Okay. Oh, and I'm sorry, it's... Can I use... Yes, I can use a mouse. Maybe it won't be as loud, the click. Oops. Oh, go back. Can I... No. Okay. So, apparently there's unlockable characters as well, which uh, I think in the first Turbo Pug there was also... Oh, cheese. Also some cats that you could unlock. Or was that a different game that was kind of like Turbo Pug? Okay, let's see if I can at least beat my high score, which isn't that high of a score. Um, these Pug coins are apparently used for something else. I'm not for custom skins. Oh, cool. Um, yes, anyways. Oh! Dang it! Okay, so I saw the letter D in that last, and there was an R, um, which I didn't get, unfortunately. So the X apparently is, hang on, right up there you can see that there's an X I collected. So I wonder what happens when I collect, if I can collect all the letters. So we're going to try that. That's going to be my goal for this video, is to just try and get all the letters. Um, oops. Oh, I thought I died, and then I didn't, but then I did. Okay, uh, so anyways. Uh, are there any Gotham fans out there? I am a huge Batman fan, and Gotham just came back um, to the TV, um, just started airing again. Season 3 
the Mad City. Um, there's been two episodes out, jeez, and um, I honestly don't know what to- oh shoot, I could've had that one. I uh, don't know what to think about this season, um, simply because it is like the subtitle of the season. Uh, says Mad City, it feels like everything is everywhere. I don't really want to get into too many spoilers, but I am very happy that Fish Mooney is back. Um, I don't feel like that was such a huge spoiler. Um, I am happy with where they're going with the Penguin character, um, getting more, oh shoot, why didn't that click? Getting more involved with politics because he, um, yay! Oh shoot. Uh, he did get more involved. Tilted boxes, they are my enemy. Get more involved in politics, um, in. Oh! No, come back! Uh, in one of the movies. Um, I think that was Batman Forever with Catwoman. Um, and you have to love Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman. She was absolutely lovely and also brought that kind of uh, chaotic, not chaotic, but um, no, there was the X. Um, little hint of madness that uh, that rendition of Catwoman had. Uh, as far as the Selena Kyle character in Gotham, I'm also not for sure what, oops, um, which rendition they're turning her, or they're trying to adapt. Ah, lava. Sleeping with the fishes! Achievement unlocked. But that was lava, that wasn't water. There's no lava fish. Uh, anyways. So, yeah. That's one thing that I'm not really for sure if I'm going to like. She seems like a very spunky and, like, you know, strong-willed character, and I love that about her, but it seems like they don't even know what they're doing with her, um, so I just wish that they would pick a direction. See, that should have been swimming with the fishes. Anyways, um, Vicky Vale has joined the cast of characters, and it seems like they are trying to make a romance with her and Gordon. Um, which brings me to Barbara, um, and I'm wondering what the heck they're going to do with her character, considering that in the comics she is actually Barbara Gordon, and her and Gordon are married, and that's where- oh shoot, I didn't even see that spike. Um, that's where, uh, Batgirl comes into play. She is the daughter of uh, Barbara and and Gordon so Jim Gordon anyways but it seems like she's gone oh shoot I was scared by the vase and then I jumped into the spike anyways it seems like she's gone too far off the deep end um, and there's rumors between some of the um, fans that she might oh, shoot that was horrible that she might actually become uh, Harley Quinn She's currently in charge of running um, a nightclub called the Sirens Club. Uh, I can't remember the other character, but Butch's love interest. Um, her and that was strange. Uh, her and Barbara are running the Sirens Club. And that is a shout out to the Gotham City Sirens, which uh, they actually had their own comic. Uh, and that, oh shoot, that involves um, Catwoman, Harley Quinn, and come on, Harley Quinn and uh, Poison Ivy. And so we have, in the last episode, we saw the emergence of, or the introduction of uh, Old Ivy. Uh, which they just like aged the young kid Ivy character which I don't think many people liked her uh, she was unnecessarily uh, 
Anyways, to me, she seemed like she was bratty and for no real good reason. Um, oh no! Oh, I thought I was gonna get that you. Um, anyways, so I'm interested to see if they're going to actually make the Gotham City Sirens or not, or if that's just a. Oops. Oh no, that's not my wine. If that's just like a tribute to fans of the comics, I guess we'll see. Um, let's see. Also, Fear of the Walking Dead is back, and uh, I am intrigued by it. Um, I'm definitely not as big of a fan of it as I am of The Walking Dead, but uh, I do think that Madison is starting to get on my nerves. Um, next week, or yeah, I guess this week, is the season, yeah, the season finale. It's going to be a special two hour long episode, and um, without getting into too many spoilers, uh, Travis is back in the picture, and we find out a few things that happened between Travis and Chris. Um, and I don't really like Chris because I don't know I just don't think that he should have developed the way that he developed he just kind of went off the deep end and those of you that have watched the show can kind of maybe attest to that oh uh, some people are saying that he's like the new Shane of the franchise um, which I could oh, there was another you I could totally see that um, I don't want this video to get too long, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all the letters considering that I suck at this really, really bad. Um, but yes, uh, Fear the Walking Dead, I am interested in seeing the season finale because once I start watching a show, I kind of want to see it through to the end. Um, same kind of goes for Once Upon a Time. I used to really love that show, um, but it just, oh shoot, it just came back on this um, past week, and I was so excited about it, but now, like, after watching it last night, I felt it was kind of, I mean, it has been tropey before, but, um... There's hints that uh, dead characters coming back, and that's one of my biggest things is, you know, if you kill a character, you have to have a reason to kill him in the first place, you know, um, whether it impacts the storyline or not. And, I mean, if they're a major character, if you kill them, you have to, come on, you have to have a reason for doing so. Um, and... Although the character I was... Oh, shoot. I guess I couldn't get that one. Uh, although I was sad to see that character go, and I was hoping that it would have been a different character, it just seems like any time they kill off a major character, it's not going to be very long until they return, um, which can get annoying, because it's just like you are emotionally invested in a character, and then they stab you in the heart by killing him, and then... They have a good reason for killing him or her off for character development or, you know, that character's story arc had run its course and, you know, what, what have you. Um, and I thought that this character was actually kind of unjustly killed. Oh shoot, should have jumped quicker. Um, like there was no real reason for killing this character except to make this other character, like, life more of a hell, and I feel like that character has suffered unnecessarily at this point. They're just, like, overkilling her, her suffering. Um, and I, I don't know if it should have, um, as much as I love the show, now I'm starting to feel like it's a guilty pleasure, because it just... Like, this week's episode was a bit cheesy, um, even, and I know, I know it's Once Upon a Time, fairy tales are very tropey and what have you, but, um, it just, I don't know, for whatever reason, like, it even 
uh, got me as far as like the cheese factor of it. I was like, that's just a little bit too much. Oh shoot, I was doing really well there. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. You can leave your thoughts about any of these shows down in the comments below. Um, coming back soon is going to be Arrow and... Um, Actually, I don't remember when Supergirl's coming back. I need to really get caught up on Arrow and uh, The Flash. I'm like super excited about The Flash, but I need to get caught up on it. Um, Supergirl is one that I am caught up on, um, which they're introducing uh, Superman as like a permanent character, whereas previously he was involved in the story arc, but they didn't have an actual um, actor cast in it. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> I thought that was another spike thing and it wasn't. Um, so they like would show scenes with Superman, but it'd be like far away or, you know, just his back or something so that they wouldn't actually have to have an actor for it. Which I guess it makes sense because um, they, I guess the um, station wasn't really, oh, excuse me, um, shoot, come on, wasn't really as invested in it since it was like the first season and they um, didn't know if it would take off or not. <sighs> come on. Okay, it looks like I'm just going to do one more, um, well, besides that one. Let me try and get one more letter here for Turbo Pug. Um, and then maybe Justin and I will replay this game after um, after October ends. Um, why are there so many U's? I need a different letter besides U. Um, hopefully it saves the progress as far as the letters go. Um, because I think after October ends, Justin and I will replay this game. Um, it's actually on sale right now on Steam um, for like under a dollar, which is, it's like a super cute game and there are, like it's a little bit more in depth, in depth than the last time. Like they've added several different features I haven't, I just didn't want to mess with. I just wanted to play a game and kind of talk to you guys. So yeah, um, while I search for another letter, let me mention that the next video you'll be seeing from us, shoot, I don't know how to get those, um, no, that's the X, I needed that. Um, the next video you will see from us will be for October, uh, October 1st, and you should expect to see more videos uh, spamming your subscriber feed. Uh, subscription feed. There we go. <laughs> subscription feed. Um, we are trying to do... No, not a you. We are trying to do an episode a day. Tenacity! Achievement unlocked. Nice. Um, for the month of October because that's really when we... I just ran straight into that box without any reason. Any rhyme or reason. Um, come on. Uh, yes. Anyways. Um, there. No, that's a U. Let me double check and make sure that I'm still recording. Yes, still recording. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, nope, come back. Anyways. Um, oh, right. Yes, a T. No, oh, I missed it. No, you didn't see that. Uh, yes, so October is like our yay one year anniversary of actually um, posting videos, uploading videos on YouTube. And as of right now, we have 56 subscribers. There's the X. Yay. Oh, no, I had that one already. Shoot. Um... Our one year anniversary and... To be honest with you, Halloween is like my favorite holiday. Um, no, <laughs> I should have jumped. Um, and so we thought we'd celebrate by bringing you a month full of 
uh, creepy, scary uh, video games, I didn't think I'd make that jump. Uh, yay, a D! Uh, <laughs> so that's my extra letter. I'll keep going until I finish my thought here. Um, <laughs> if I can stop dying. So yes, as of right now, we have 56 subscribers, which is amazing. You guys are all very like awesome, and uh, the ones, those of you that always leave comments or like the video, uh, we really appreciate it. Those of you that share it are even like more epic and awesome, because um, I know how like how scary it can be sometimes to be like, hey, you guys should check this out, you know, this is something that I like, and then other people being like, why do you like that? Um, anyone that really, that knows me in person, like, they know that I can be kind of, um, I can, when I get into something, I'm just like, oh my gosh, guys, this, and you have to watch it so that uh, I have someone to talk to about it. Case in point, Steven Universe. Um, love Steven Universe and uh, got Justin to like it and um, well I think maybe Aiden also uh, got him to really watch it and stuff but um, yeah I'm just like you need to watch this and let's sit down and watch it you know come over to my house and we're gonna binge watch this. Speaking of bin wa binge watching um, Oh shoot, now I can't. Oh, Penny Dreadful. Um, I binge watched all that, and that was interesting. Um, next is. Uh, what is it? What's that? No, I don't know. I'm not even going to finish that uh, thought because I can't remember Stranger Things or something like that. And I, um, it's a new TV show that I've heard awesome things about, but um, I haven't watched it yet. But I did binge watch Penny Dreadful, and that was cool. Um, a little bit out there. Uh, I wanted to watch it because of the name. Um, Penny Dreadfuls used to be like these little uh, stories that were um, back in Edwardian, I think. In Edwardian London is when they first came out, but they were like little horror stories. Uh, Sweeney Todd actually um, was a Penny Dreadful and there were, well there's many of them, just google search Penny Dreadful like the actual item. Um, I was fascinated with that previous and I was like oh so it's like a creepy show so I wanted to watch it. It ended up being a little bit more um, not what I was thinking it was going to be but it was it was okay. Um, I don't feel like it's very long, like I binge watched it within a few days, so yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like I'm not going to get another letter and this is going on for super super long and I didn't intend for that to happen. So yeah, that I think should about wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching and just kind of, no, I needed that tea, and just hanging out with me as I sucked at playing this uh, Turbo Pug. I did get, let's see, what, what is that? One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, five letters out of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I got half the letters, so I guess I didn't do um, so bad, but uh, yeah, so... Thank you so much for listening to me ramble. Um, I hope that you stick tuned to... Jeez, my hair's a mess. Uh, <laughs> stick tuned to uh, our channel for more... Well, Justin's calling it the Scare Fest. I don't really know if that's our working title or not, but in October is going to be an upload a day. Um, fingers crossed, knock on wood, that everything goes according to plan. We already have, I think, the first full week uh, recorded. Not all of it rendered, but recorded. And so you'll see us back um, on the first. Which, excuse me, which I think is normally a, an upload day. So no big surprise there. But then you'll see us back on the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, through the 31st. Um, yeah, and hopefully, hopefully you'll get scared or... Um, at the very least entertained by the times that we get scared. 
Um, I think that about does it for this episode. And again, if you don't watch any of those shows, I'm sorry, it was probably kind of boring. But uh, if you do watch those shows, leave your comment down below. Tell me which one of those you really like watching. If you have any theories about um, any of those shows and where they're going to be going, again, comment down below or hit me up on Twitter uh, at GamingKyodai. I think... Let me double check. I do have my own Twitter, um, which I think... Oh no, not Facebook. Uh, let me just double check here. And we are on Facebook at Gaming Kyodai, which we're going to, I'm going to try and use that more consecutively. Uh, I did post on there about our family, um, our family emergency that we had, and that's why we weren't, uh, why we weren't updating. Um, on Twitter, I am at Kyodai underscore Crystal, C R Y S T A L. Um, if you can't find me, you can uh, go under the subs uh, the followers on the Gaming Kyodai Twitter uh, handle, and you'll find me there. Again, that's at Kyodai underscore Crystal. And I think Justin's is also at Kyodai underscore Justin. But if you want to talk Gotham or The Walking Dead or Fear of the Walking Dead, which The Walking Dead is coming back in less than a month, so that's going to be awesome. Um, Put your, who you think, your guesses of who Negan killed. I do think he killed two people uh, in the comments down below or Twitter, you know. Uh, yes, I'm rambling. So we will, we, Justin, and I will see you in the next video. Um, so until then, peace.